Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Eco Engineering. This is your host Shia Leilipur. In this video, I'm going to teach you a new strategy named Cascade Ordering Strategy. This strategy was developed by myself. I have never seen anybody else uh, use it. And it's completely based on mathematics and statistics. Uh, this video has three different parts. In the first section, I will teach you the strategy. We will talk about the uh, uh, mathematics and the statistics behind it and in the second section uh, I teach you how to program it with MQL4 language and in the third section I will show you uh, the results and test this uh, strategy by using strategy tester and we can see the uh, performance of this strategy if if this is your first time watching our channel I would really appreciate to hit subscribe button in this channel we focus on different strategies in forex crypto and stocks markets and specifically on uh, um, uh, making an algorithm for them and using algorithmic trading in our daily tradings uh, if you have any suggestion for upcoming videos and you want me to uh, make a video regarding them i would really appreciate to leave me a comment i will read them and consider them for upcoming videos i hope you enjoyed this video and stay with me to the end normally when we open an order based on any strategy and we enter uh, into the market we have a stop loss for example 10 p 10 points or pips lower than the entry point and uh, if the risk to reward is two, we put the take profit 20 pips or points higher than the entry point. And whenever the price goes high and uh, uh, it goes in our favor and hit the take profit, we close the open order. And if it goes down and hit the stop loss, we close the order with losing money. But with this strategy, instead of closing the order when we hit the take profit, we open a new order exactly with the same lot size and uh, transfer the stop loss to five points lower than the new open orders. And uh, we hope that the price goes higher and we make more money because in this case we have two open orders. But the first scenario is that the price does not go in our favor and it goes back and hit this stop loss which is in this case is stop loss for second open order and take profit for the first open order uh, we calculate the profit that we have in this scenario the profit would be one lot multiply 50 point one lot for this order uh, which gained 15 points plus minus one lot multiply five point for this open order which uh, it lost for five points and the result would be 10 unit so if we didn't do that then we would have gained 20 points 20, 20 units and now we have gained 10 units but we continue we continue and uh, see other scenarios imagine that price goes in our favor and uh, increased by 20 point in this case again instead of closing the order we open a new order with exactly the same lot size and we transfer the uh, stop loss to five point below the new order and in this case then this line would be take profit for the first and the second order and stop loss for the third one and we are hoping that the price goes even higher and we gain we multiply actually our profit but the first scenario is that the price doesn't do that and it goes back and hit this stop loss and uh, we calculate our profit the first profit that we have is one lot multiply 35 regarding the first order plus one lot multiply 15 points regarding the second order and plus minus one lot multiply five points regarding the third open order which last three uh, five points in this case the profit would be 45 units see it's increased very fast but again we continue we continue the scenarios now imagine that again price goes even higher and after 20 points 
we open again another order and we hope that price goes higher so our profit would be multiply and we transfer the stop loss five point lower than below the fourth order which is only the stop loss for this order and take profit for the others again we hope that the price goes higher but in this case the first scenario is that the price goes down and hit the stop loss and we calculate the profit the profit would be one lot multiplier 55 for regarding the first order plus one lot multiplier 35 point plus one lot multiply 15 points regarding the second and the third open order and plus minus one lot multiply five unit regarding the last order and then in this case uh, we gain 100 unit so uh imagine that only once per month we get to this point and we hit the fourth open orders in this case we need to be wrong in 10 other orders and we hit the stop loss for the next 10 orders to lose this money that we gained here statistically speaking this way of closing the order is perfect actually i have worked with that a lot in the next section i will teach you how to program this strategy and in the last section we will uh, test this strategy by using a strategy tester stay with me so in this part of the video i will show you how i program this strategy uh, with MQL4 language. If you are not interested in the programming side, programming uh, section, I will suggest you uh, to pass this video to the minute and the second that you can see here uh, to see only the results of this strategy and its performance. So, this section of the video needs some uh, knowledge about the programming with MQL4 language. If you don't have any experience, I leave you uh, the link to uh, the video that I taught it completely from A to Z and uh, even it's suitable for those who doesn't have any experience in programming I teach it I taught it from very basics so uh, the first thing is uh, that we have here is an if condition and I check it whether it is the new candle or not because I want to send a sell or buy order only at the beginning of the candle we don't have such predefined function in MQL4 uh, and I had to write it down by myself I used three user defined function and at the end of this section I will explain how they are worked I once I wrote them and now I saved them in my most common includes and for any new projects uh, even in the future I don't have to write them down again and I just uh, call them and use them so if it's new candle it means trade is okay I am ready to send uh, an order so uh, here I'll check here we have another if condition I check uh, the number of open orders for a specific symbol if uh, you are familiar with the MQL4 language normally uh, we use orders total to see the open orders but these order totals return all open orders but it doesn't separate them based on the symbols for example when we have 10 orders orders totals return 10 but uh, maybe I'm just interested in two of them which are related to the euro USD so I had to wrote down write down uh, another um, another a user defined function which is symbol open orders and I show you at the end of this section too and if the open orders for a specific symbols is zero it means uh, we can go for our open or order strategy not uh, not closing strategy remember these techniques these uh, cascade ordering techniques is just for closing and optimizing our exit points not for opening a new strategy this strategy is very simple it checks whether we are uh, it checks uh, whether we are in the oversold RSI or overbought RSI levels if uh, in contrast with what is common between people and uh, new traders I prefer whenever I start to get 
uh, into or enter the oversold area I want to sell. And if I enter the, inter, the, the overbought area, I want to buy. And this is strategy work like that. And after that, the process, after opening the first order from this else to the end, the process of opening second and third and fourth order starts. And here we have two separate sections. The first section is when the first open order is buy. And the second section is when the uh, first open order is sell. It checks, it checks when whether when the ask is greater than take profit and the first order is buy. Uh, then it update the take profit and update the stop loss and uh, open a new buy order. But in this section, when the first open order is sell, the first open order is sell. It, this one is means that. Uh, it's not buy. The first order is not buy, and uh, when and at the same time the bid is less than take profit, it send a new sell order and update take profit and stop loss. Uh, and uh, after that, for closing the orders, we should have another section here for closing the orders when. For example, we open 10 orders and at the 10th order, uh, we goes back and hit the stop loss. We should close all of them. Based on some technical issues, I prefer instead of writing them, writing it down here, to write it down at the beginning of the code, which is trail stop loss and closing it. Uh, in this section, if, uh, if the conditions met, then I send the order of closing all open orders and again i use a user defined function which is defined by myself close orders see mql4 language has a predefined function names uh, order close but this order close just close one order i want to close all open orders only regarding a specific symbol that's why i write i wrote down this code by myself several years ago and i saved it in my most common includes uh, and when these conditions are true then we close all open orders and uh, i mentioned three predefined three user defined function which i'm using by myself uh, the first one if you remember was uh, is new candle because I want to send some I want to uh, run some part of the code only once per candle so I had to uh, define these codes and I usually use it a lot in different codes that's why I saved it you can pause the video and read it because I think it would be interesting for you too uh, and uh, if you are interested I please leave me a comment to make a video for that. I will consider it for each of these user-defined uh, functions. If you are interested in them, please let me know. I will consider them for upcoming videos. And the second user-defined function was symbol open orders, this one, which is, again, it's written by myself because I needed a lot in different projects and different codes. That's why I saved it. And it just check uh, the name of open orders with the symbol or name which is entered by a user and check it and if they were uh, equal to each other it we have a counter name open orders open orders and this counter would be added by one would be increased by one and it just count 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 at the and the at the end it returns the number of open orders related to a specific symbol. You can again pause this part of the video too and read it more carefully. And if you want me you please leave, to, have, to make a video for that, please leave me a comment. And the last and not least, but not least, is the close all orders, which is written here. I suggest you to pause this part of the video too and uh, look at it carefully. In the next section, I will show you the performance and the results of this strategy. Again, I don't like 
to call it a strategy. I prefer to call it a technique to close the orders because it, it's just, it just makes your strategy more efficient. First of all, you have to have a very good strategy to enter the market and this strategy doesn't give you a signal to enter the market. This strategy just helps you to maximize, maximize your profit. In previous section, I showed you how I program this strategy. And in this section, we use strategy tester to back test these techniques. First, the entry strategy is very simple. We just enter, uh, this, enter uh, the market by uh, based on the RSI. And whenever the RSI is going, for example, into the overbought area, we send an order. We hope that the, it continues the trend. And whenever it goes to oversold area we send a sell order to and hope that the uh, trend will continue now and then after opening the first order we check it whenever we hit the take profit uh, instead of closing the order we open new orders and we do that as many times as possible until we hit the stop loss so first i from uh, here i open the strategy tester the strategy tester is opened. I uh, chose the cascade ordering code, which is uh, the code of this strategy. And from here, I choose Euro USD. And uh, I, from here, I use the date from when to when I wanna test this strategy from 1st of uh, August to 4th of September. And uh, from the expert properties, in the testing, uh, I want my initial value be 100,000 USD. I want it to be able to open buy and sell or long or short positions. Uh, and uh, the inputs of the strategy, the inputs of this uh, code is written here and we can give them initial values. If you are not familiar with that, I again leave you the link for uh, its course and you can find it. and um, see the course and learn how to use it. So now the strategy tester is ready and I press OK. And uh, now the period I want to, I want this strategy, this code be run on the one hour time frame and uh, the speed will be controlled from here. Everything is controlled. Now, if I press the start, the strategy would start to run. I press start and um, I add a template, a clean one, which is used here. And uh, we, it starts to running after downloading the data of previous months for this uh, Euro USD uh, symbol. It takes a while. It's downloading and we wait for it. And it's already downloaded and I press run and it starts running. See, the first order is opened and it waits to go higher. And if it goes back and hit the stop loss, it's over. We lost it because our entry uh, was not correct. But if it go, continue and go in our favor, then it open new order. In this case, it didn't go in that way. We wait, wait. And now here it goes in our favor. It opens the second order and the third order was opened here and it goes higher but it couldn't reach the point to open the fourth order and it goes back and here it closed all orders now again again I, it comes down the first order was opened then the second order was opened but it couldn't reach the, four, the third order and it continued as we can see. It's going very fast. But I think if we see the results, we can see here, for example, here, as you can see, for example, here, as you can see, we have three orders. It couldn't reach the fourth orders. The first orders closed with uh, uh, $3,592 in profit. One, the second one is 1663 
dollar and the fourth third third one minus two hundred sixty one dollar uh, is lost. And if I goes down, we can see all the results. The graph is like that. It's going in this uh, slippage, very beautiful one. And uh, now, as you can see, this is the result of this strategy. Um, the initial deposit was $100,000. Uh, we gained uh, $12,000, $12,175. $12, uh, and the absolute drawback is written here. The total trades, 30 trades, were open in this one month. The short positions that we won uh, is 43% of them closed by profit. And you can see all other data related to this strategy. But at the end, without risking whole balance, with having only risking 1% of our uh, balance, because whenever we open, an, we, we open an order, the stop loss was in a place which when we hit it, we only would have lost 1% of our balance. So with, all, with only uh, with having a logical stop loss we gained about 12 percent of our balance in one month uh, before finishing this video i want to notice that all the lots and points which were used and mentioned in this video actually they are for just educational purposes for example this one lot that i mentioned is uh, should not be always one lot it should be based on the uh, logic and risk to reward and what is optimized optimized lot size for your tradings it should be calculated but here I just wanted to see to show you uh, the mathematics and I wanted it to be as easy as possible that's why I used 1 points 10 1 lots 10 points for stop loss and 20 points for take profits it can be anything and any combination and you can do it even more efficient than me and the second one is I want you I want to mention you again that the entry strategy is very important this strategy or it's better to say techniques that I showed you in this video is actually just a strategy and techniques to gain more money to be more efficient and to increase and multiply your profit it's not an entry point strategy if your uh, entry strategy for enter the market is not a good one and it's not a profitable one these techniques does not help you a lot i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please hit the like button so the algorithm youtube will introduce us to those who are interested in this subject uh, i wish you have a good day goodbye